Hello and welcome to a Capper's Guide to Tribes Ascend. My name is Small Kiwi, and in this video I will discuss the basics of capping in tribes and try to give you the tools you need to excel in the role of capper. Before we look at our class loadout, let's consider the capper role. In Capture the Flag, cappers are responsible for making high speed grabs off the enemy flag stand while their teammates cause enough destruction and distraction to allow for a clean getaway. One of the most important skills a capper can possess is the ability to achieve and maintain high speeds while making the trip between home base, the enemy flag stand, and the return trip, flag in hand. Successful capping relies primarily on blistering speed to thwart enemy defenses. To do this, cappers use carefully planned routes which allow for enough time and space to build up speed through skiing, jetting, and impulse jumps, and also by taking into account the effects of health regeneration to maximize health levels at the time of the grab. Beyond a capper's ability to reach incredible speeds, it is also important that a capper be able to reliably run fast routes to maximize their team's chances of getting the flag off the stand and scoring. Let's begin by looking at the class we're going to be using to flag cap most of the time, the Pathfinder. The Pathfinder is the lightest class in the game, and therefore the fastest. He has two primary weapons to choose from, the Disc Launcher, aka the Spin Fuser, and the Bolt Launcher. These are both viable weapons for a capper, so if your goal is to start capping as soon as possible, don't worry about buying one or the other, or even necessarily prioritizing them for upgrades. When you're going faster than anyone else in the game, it's unlikely you will find many opportunities to use all that ammo. Likewise with the secondary weapons, these are only going to marginally affect how we do our job, so I will save discussion of primary and secondary weapons for my advanced capper's guide. Now we get to the meat of the capper's arsenal. Impact Nitrons. These grenades are one of the most important things a capper carries as we use them to get large boosts of speed for relatively little health cost. Consider using some of your first XP to upgrade the Impact Nitron. Next is pack items. For the purposes of this video, I will be using the Energy Pack. I will save discussion of Energy Regen and Thrust Packs for the Advanced Guide as well. The Energy Regen Pack is an important item and well worth using some XP to upgrade. Now let's look at the armor upgrade options. Here is where you will find some of the most important bonuses to a Pathfinder. Regeneration delay, extra energy, and mass reduction. A reduction in regeneration delay will come in handy when you are trying to complete short routes with full health or when tackling longer routes that require more than one health regen. The fourth armor upgrade is an increase in overall health, which will allow us to take more damage while setting up routes. The final upgrade is a reduction in mass, very important to increasing our acceleration and top speeds. Last we come to perks, and this is where a capper should probably start eyeing their first big purchases. The secondary perk, Egocentric, is all but a requirement in order to cap effectively. The large reduction in self damage we get from selecting this perk lets us use Nitron and Disc Jumps more often. Those Impulse Jumps translate directly to more speed on our routes. Lastly, we will look at primary perks and see that there are three somewhat viable options. Ultra Capacitor for extra energy, Reach for the added utility and safety net of being able to pick up flags from greater distances, and Safety Third, which gives us an extra impact nitron for greater speed. For now, I highly suggest prioritizing the Reach perk, but only after unlocking egocentric armor upgrades and nitron upgrades. One of the perks of learning to cap is that the role is largely non-adversarial. You can practice your capping skills more quickly and with fewer interruptions inside training mode. Let's get in there now and see how we can use these concepts and tools to successfully cap the flag. If you haven't yet mastered the art of using the jetpack and skiing, now might be a good time to play through the in-game skiing tutorial. The goal of skiing and jetting is to use in-game terrain to incrementally build speed. Skiing down hills will increase our speed, and jetting up know hills yourself. allows us to maintain Victory speed and gain altitude to ski down the next slope. Knowing this, putting a route together is simply a matter of finding the right hills and the right timings to use our nitron and disc jumps to gain maximum speed. The route I am going to show you now is a simplified version of a route, 
and you can use it as a jumping off point for more advanced routes. Once you are able to run this basic route, you can move on to looking for routes yourself, or check out the route videos on my YouTube channel. You can find a link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching my guide to capping in Tribes Ascent. You can follow me on Twitch and watch me play live at www.twitch.tv forward slash the small kiwi. You can follow me on Twitter at the small kiwi and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Small Kiwi Bird. And remember, gotta go fast.